All right, so sorry for the slow start. Today we're going to be working on this pretty cool 90% silver, half dollar. There are not a lot of silver coins that came out in the 80s, and I just discovered this one. This one was made in 1982. So I think that's pretty cool. I think uh, people looking for 82 coins might like this one. So I've never made this into a ring before, so this is going to be a whole new experience. I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but if you guys want to watch, hang out, watch, tap the screen. That's all good. Uh, if you'd like to check out the coin rings I have made in the past, or uh, just go take a look at my store, there is a gold chain down by the comments you can tap on, or you can go to the link in my profile and just... At any time you feel like going shopping, supporting this small, made-in-America business, getting yourself a cool coin ring, go check out the store. All right, we're going to get started on this. First thing we got to do is punch a hole in it. So while I set that up, y'all tap the screen. We'll get this going. We got to get it out of the capsule first. This is kind of a funky capsule because it's it's like got this raised lip on it on each side. So it actually makes the coin feel a little bit bigger than it is. Let's see if I can get this open. See, if you can't open it, it's going to be real tricky to make into a ring. Some kind of trick capsule. Anybody know how to open this thing? There's like no... How the heck? Give me a second, I'm sorry. That thing is just, it is locked in here. I've never dealt with a capsule like this before. I have no idea how to divide or crack this open. Want something in there? I'm trying, like I've got this blade, but it doesn't, there's no crack anywhere. It's all together. Maybe tape the other side and pull it apart, more grip that way, that might work. That is nuts. You no, know, I literally, I had to break it, guys. It is, it is like, seriously together. That is, that's a hell of a capsule. We're gonna get you out of here. How weird. Usually they just pop right open. Very user friendly. Not this one. There we go. <laughs> we got it. Well, <laughs> kind of. Oh no. There's little chips holding the coin into the capsule still. Still. Wow. That's something else. Well, I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna mess this coin up. That is nuts. doesn't want to come out. Okay. So I got my blade up under the coin and it's still holding on tight, but we got it. All right. So here is our 90% silver half dollar from 1982. This is the 250th anniversary of George Washington's birthday. Yeah, it was a little funny, wasn't it? Well, now we're going to 
punch a hole in this coin and make it into a ring. And while you all watch, feel free to check out my website. There's lots of cool coin rings you can get there. This is going to center our coin automatically for us. It's a pretty cool tool. And once it's nice and centered, we're gonna punch a hole right in the middle of it. Let's go. Can't see it's straight up pac band. That capsule. That was something else. I can't believe how well that was stuck together. Here is our center punch. So our horse's face right there, if y'all can make that out. And well that looks really nice. Go ahead and pop this off of here. And this coin is available at coinringmaker.com if you'd like this ring. I have two of these. So if you like the look of it and want to get you a ring, check out the website. The link's on my profile. Now we're going to clean up this inside cut edge right here. And this is kind of the slow, boring part. So if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen while we get through it, I sure would appreciate it. All right. Let's get that cleaned up. This is a deburring tool, and it's just going to cut away at that kind of rough, sharp edge and smooth it out real nice. Gives us these nice long curly pieces of silver, which are pretty cool. That side feels pretty smooth. Go ahead and flip this coin over, do the other side. Have a quarter with a different top on him. Is it worth keeping? A different, a different top? It's possible. It's really hard to tell uh, through text if a coin someone has is valuable or not. It's, it's just really hard to evaluate. Painting smashers yesterday. I thought of you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, the burn tools are pretty tight. American flag top. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like I said, if I can't see it, I can't really tell you. Got it nice and smoothed out. Now we're gonna hit it with some fire. Oh, I'm gonna cut at it a little more. Since this is the first one of these I'm making, I really wanna make sure we do it right. Then we'll hit it with some fire. Yeah. Have you seen one of these before, Dominator? 90% silver, 250th anniversary, George Washington, made in 1982. Pretty cool coin. It's not in the front of me, but I've never seen it before. I think it's a 2006. 2006 would be a state quarter. I don't know, if you've never seen it before, it, it, it could be something weird. How much for the coin? I don't sell coins, I just sell coin jewelry, so. 
You can probably find it on eBay. I just sell rings made out of coins. That's my shtick. It's my niche. My bread and butter. Now we're gonna start folding it. How much is a ring for a man usually run? It really depends on the coin. Uh, so like copper quarters, that's like the smallest uh, common coin ring I make. Those are $25. I also have them in 90% silver for 100. So it depends on the size of the coin and the type of metal it's made out of. Uh, you can find all my pricing by going to the website linked on my profile or just tap this gold chain down here it's really easy guys uh, you can just tap on that gold chain uh, dad of four beauties you can tap on that gold chain and that'll pull up all my products and the prices and how they look This is called a doming block. This is gonna help us get a nice fold on here. Hi. Hi. Now if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, it's an 84 there, man. I got two of them with an S bit mark. It's worth about 25 bucks. Actually, it's a uh, it's eighty two. See right here, eighty two, uh, and they do come in copper clad and ninety percent silver. And like I said, you can find them on eBay. Um, the price of of coins is kind of fluctuating and being weird with the price of silver. So I didn't want to give you a quote, especially for something that I don't sell myself. I don't sell the coins, so you can get them on eBay if you want. That's where I got mine. There we go. See if this will focus in here. George looking good. Go ahead and give this another fold using a 17 degree die. very nicely we're gonna go ahead and kneel it again it's gonna soften up that silver we've done quite a bit of manipulating on it so it's hardened up a little bit I'm gonna run in there and pick it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's actually good for the economy. It increases the value of any other coin similar to this one because it makes them more scarce. It also creates products and I pay taxes and shipping and lots of other stuff. So it's it's good for the economy. 
for people to make jewelry out of coins. For sure. Looking pretty good. Alright, so now we're going to stretch this out a little bit over here on the ring stretcher. It's still defacing money. Yeah? Sure. So do penny smashing machines. But they've been around since, I don't know, the 50s. I haven't seen a huge nationwide revolt or anything over penny smashers. Very similar practice. I really think you guys would be surprised how many people in the world make jewelry out of coins. It's like thousands and thousands. And even with that many people, like, we don't really make a dent comparatively to the amount of coins that are produced every year. There's no way we could get close to even like 1% destroying the coins that they make. They just make so many. Constantly minting coins. Steady Slowly starting to look more and more like a ring. I'm gonna go ahead and anneal it one more time, stretch it out a little bit more, and then we'll start reducing it so that it'll fit my finger. And you'll check out the website, links on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain down by the chat. Make lots of cool coins, uh, <laughs> lots of cool coins into rings. Uh, I can do specific states, specific years different size coins, quarters, half dollars, dollars, all kinds of cool stuff. It depends on the type of metal you choose. So some of my rings are made with copper clad, which can discolor your finger. I recommend putting clear fingernail polish on that type of ring. Uh, if you're really worried about it, I also offer 90% silver and fine silver rings, which won't uh, discolor your fingers. rings on my website are sorted by like the types of metal they're made of so you can you can shop by by metal type up on the ring stretcher am i cooking no i'm right by an air conditioner so it's just rumbling away i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this in some teflon tape this is gonna help us keep the outside detail on this ring as we uh, reduce it down in size how's it going dude making coin rings you know how it is getting told that what i do is illegal having people be mad because i don't just sell the coins or I won't give a price of what a coin is worth immediately so sorry i'm working on my own thing It's not illegal. Oh, I know. I know, bud.
So this is called a Swedish wrap. This thing is gonna help us make our coin ring smaller, but like a really slow pace. Slowly getting smaller and smaller as we push it down in this die. Pretty great tool. Thank you guys for the follows. Thanks for the likes too. We got 2,400 likes. Very nice. We got it pretty close to the bottom of that die. So we're gonna pop it out. And you can see it's got a little bit of a cone shape to it. It's a little smaller on the bottom than it is on the top. So what I'm gonna do is flip this upside down and reduce that wider side to even it up with that smaller one. background research on the coin before you destroy it to make sure it's not valuable? Yes. And I've actually found uh, a couple of valuable coins that I've, I've kept up, like I've held on to instead of making into rings. Not a lot. But a few. So. Does the durability differ from different materials? Yes. So 90% silver is probably the strongest. Uh, fine silver can be uh, a little softer and copper clad is, is pretty tough. So really the only one I would worry about being maybe soft-ish is, is fine silver. But it really depends on like how often you wear it or like how hardcore the activities you're doing are while you wear it. But 90% silver is pretty tough. A lot of those coins are over 100 years old and they've held up quite well. My friend has a gold one from you and he said it is softer than the copper. Yeah. Well, uh, gold is gold is interesting because they have quite a few different um, carats of gold. So based on like the amount of gold in the jewelry, the more gold that's in it, the softer it's going to be. But that's just kind of the different properties of the metals themselves, yeah. Looks pretty cool. Thank you for not being offended by my questions. No problem. Um, I'm glad you're asking questions. That means you're watching and paying attention and enjoying my live, you know? I like answering questions. Actually, I actually think this is cooler than just a coin, so I wouldn't say he destroys them. Yeah. Transformation process. I like to think of them as my medium, like as, a, as an artist. Like some people work with clay, or some people are painters. I think coins are like my medium artistic exploration. That looks pretty cool. And it fits very nicely. Let's go clean it up. Use a little bit of uh, really fine steel wool. This is four zero steel wool. So it's like the softest steel wool you can get. And we're just going to lightly brush off that fire scale that we got on the coin 
when we annealed it and just bring that silver shine back to it nice and easy. Yeah, if if you're worried or if you're looking for a coin ring that's that's gonna hold up the best, I would recommend ninety percent silver. And that's what this one is. And um, there's quite a few to choose from there. You can do uh, quarters, half dollars, dollars. Quite a few ninety percent silver coins. Does your family hate receiving coin rings every birthday? <laughs> no, I haven't made any for my family. What is the one you're doing now? Is that a quarter? No, this is a half dollar. This is the 250th uh, like birthday of George Washington commemorative half dollar. It's, it's kind of an obscure coin. Not a lot of people have seen it. commemorative coin yeah so just for a little side by side uh, this is the original coin I was working on and this is the ring Nice Liberty sideways there. That's pretty cool. I like it. So you can get these for about 25 bucks on eBay. Uh, they're $150 as rings. But you want to be careful uh, because there are two versions of this coin. Uh, one with the S mint mark is going to be 90% silver. And I believe one with a D mint mark is going to be copper clad and the prices on those coins are relatively uh, close together so make sure uh, if you do want to get one of these and you're looking to get silver make sure it says silver somewhere on there or you can see the mint mark so you don't end up accidentally getting a clad one can you make piercing rings out of the center kind of uh, I haven't done too much, uh, like earrings, but I bet I could. The main problem with that is most of the time people would want like a set of earrings with their ring and there's only one center punch per ring. So the math of earrings is, is kind of weird cowboy hat earrings yeah I could do that I've got uh, necklaces right now pretty cool uh, did I learn doing these rings or took classes I never took any classes on making jewelry I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I did a lot of trial and error and basically made a or tried to make a coin ring every day for the last three years so I just I get a little better every day just by doing it what do you guys think so one side of the ring has like quarter ridges yeah that's called the reeded edge and the other side is where I punch the hole in the coin. So that's called the cut edge. I can't do it to the other side, no. What are they made of? This is 90% silver. Uh, where to buy all the equipment? If you go to my website, coinringmaker.com, it's my username. There's a button at the top of the page uh, that says recommended tool list. You can see all the tools I use there and where to get them and how to use them. Pretty good little resource if you want to get into coin ring making. 
I also have a YouTube channel with tutorials if you want to check that out. It's just called Coin Ring Maker. And let's go get a closer look at this. So I've got two of these available on the website. Um, if, uh, how much to invest? It's interesting. The, that's, that's a tough question to answer. Uh, when I started, I started with about $200 in tools, but they were super caveman tools and it was very difficult to make rings with them. Uh, but I also know people who just start this hobby uh, who spend several thousand dollars on specialized tools and then end up selling them relatively quickly because it's still hard to do. Uh, so I would suggest starting with some cheaper tools, seeing if you like the process, and if, if you enjoy it, go ahead and get some more expensive tools. But there's no like cut and dry beginner's kit that's going to get you up and going. This is this is really like uh, some Wild West crafts stuff here. You just kind of figure out how to do it with what you got. Sorry if that's not super helpful. But yeah, I've got two of these available to be made into coin rings. You can check them out at coinringmaker.com. They're going to be under the 90% silver half dollar coin rings. Uh, they're $150. If you'd like to get you one of these two, I'd hop on it. I don't know how long they're going to last, because uh, these are brand new to the store, and they're pretty dang cool. It's a very nice, very nice ring. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I'm just going to hang out for a little bit here. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the store yet, you can tap on the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the link on my profile. How easily do they scratch up when you wear them? The 90% silver is actually pretty tough. Uh, fine silver can scratch up a little easier, but there's, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Fine silver is just going to be softer, uh, but 90% silver is pretty tough. Um, like That's what they made Morgan dollars and Peace dollars out of they've been around a hundred years and they still have pretty good detail. It takes quite a bit to scratch into like a Morgan or a Peace dollar. But I'm not going to say you can't do it. Like you, it's metal. So it, it can happen. But yeah, uh, if y'all wouldn't mind, just go check out my website. It's linked down here through the gold chain or the link on my profile. Uh, come back, let me know what you think of the store. Uh, if there's anything there that you don't like or would like changed, let me know. I can always use a fresh pair of eyes on my website just to click around and tell me what you think. And like I was saying earlier with this specific coin, you want to check the mint mark. See how it says S? right there next to the horse. That means it's gonna be 90% silver. You wanna make sure to get that S mint mark. You can actually see it on the ring too, which is pretty cool. Very clear S mint mark on there by the horse's mane. I really like the text on this. It's it's all caps. Looks cool. Yeah, that 90% silver, man. It's a cool ring. I like it.
All right, guys, now's the time. I have to get a little pitchy. Uh, please go visit my website. You can use the coupon code WELCOME. It'll be right here. It says WELCOME. Save you 10% on anything you get. I do need customers to order things so I can make stuff here on TikTok so you guys can watch it. Uh, if you want to go check out the store, it's linked in my profile. You can also tap the gold chain down below. Don't forget to use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. Go check it out. Get you something cool. Go to the website right now. Do it. Let's go, go shopping. Get you something cool. If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't followed me yet, give me a follow. We just finished making this coin right here into this ring right here. It was super cool. Yeah, it's the first time I've done this uh, particular coin. I think it came out really very nice. Can half dollars and dollar coins be done for smaller sizes? Yeah. Um, I think the smallest I go is size six. On, on some of the larger websites. Or, sorry, I'm reading on some of the larger coins. Yeah, yeah, I can make them smaller too. What size are you needing? Like I've got a small-ish Morgan over here I can show you. So this is a Morgan dollar. It's about a size eight, but I could make it even smaller than this if, if that's what you needed. I think I go down to a size six, like I said. Seven, seven and a half. Yeah, I could do that. This is a size eight. So this is pretty much what it would look like. And then the half dollar uh, would have different design, but. <laughs> I could do that. For sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, UK sizes are different. Yes. Uh, and I do ship internationally. I can ship all over the world. Uh, my sizes are in uh, US sizes. So you're going to want to look up like a conversion chart or something like that to make sure that we get it the right size for you. Anybody else have any questions? Uh, check out the website. The link is on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain down at the bottom of the screen. Use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. Check it out. How do we get a quote for you? Uh, on my profile right here, tap my logo. Go to my profile. There's a button there that literally says get a quote. Uh, just tell me about your coin, what kind of coin it is, what it's made of, what year it is, and the ring size you need, and I can get a quote for you. Let's see if we can get a little better setup here. want this one right here cool I've got two of these currently uh, they're 150 you're gonna find it under uh, coin rings half dollars and then 90% silver it's pretty cool I really like it it's a good looking ring that's the first one of those I've made Pretty dang good.
Yeah, the reeded edge on this one is really very clean. I'm pretty sure these coins have been in their capsule their whole lives. Like, I, ha I actually had to crack this thing open. There's no easy way to open this capsule. So these coins are, like, their detail is, is like, mint state. It's very, very clean. Made a very nice ring. But yeah, uh, y'all go to the website, coinringmaker.com, use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. I make quarters, half dollars, dollars, all kinds of cool stuff into rings. Uh, I am about to hop off of here, so if anybody has any questions, uh, ask now or forever hold your peace. This was a, a pretty good live. I had a good time. How much? Uh, the 90% silver half dollar coin rings are 150. I do have cheaper and more expensive rings. You can see all my prices by going to the website linked on my profile or tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Uh, one ring to the UK, I'm pretty sure it's close to 14, maybe $15. Um, shipping has gone up a little bit since the last time I shipped out of the country, but I think it's, I think it's about 14. Uh, now if you want to, um, get insurance on your package, it, it may cost more than that. Yeah, it's not a very heavy ring. Well, I mean, it's heavy, but comparatively to a lot of stuff that gets shipped, it's it's pretty light. Right on, right on. Yeah, go get you one, man. I'd be happy to make you one. Well, guys, I'm going to hop off of here. Uh, if you have some free time and you want to shop around, yeah, I can size uh, all different sizes, big, small rings. Uh, and you can pick your size on my website, coinringmaker.com. Uh, use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. And just check out the different rings I have there. There's lots of different designs, different size rings, coins, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.